year. Today, welcome to a very special lady to our team. She's a school teacher by day, a Broncos mega fan by night. And get this, in her spare time, she's also written a book. Naturally. Let's bring in today's very own Broncos <laughs> correspondent, Donna Fechner. There Donna, good morning to you. You well, are one busy lady. Good morning. Tell us about your book. I know, aren't I amazing? <laughs> yes. Well, the book started about six six years ago wow. because I had this great love for our Anzex, as I'm underneath the poppies here. Mm. It's called Photos in the Attic. And uh, I had just discovered that I had two great uncles that had fought in World War One, and I was unaware of that. Wow. And on my, my travels and journeys of discovering that, I realized how proud I was and how important it was to spread that news to others. So in a little town called Vignacourt in the northern part of France was the Tullier collection of um, 4,000 photographic glass plates. 800 were Australians and only 100 at that time had been identified. So I was determined to get more of these beautiful young men identified in the photographs. That set me to start writing the book so that we could reach more people with this story and get others to start researching anyone in any of the wars, but in particular World War One. Donna, you are an amazing woman and you know how much we here at the Today Show absolutely adore you. We're so happy to see this book realised for you. But not just that, it's actually going to get made into a film as well. I mean, there's no stopping you. I, I know. Unbelievable, hey. Um, the the movie, we did the screenplay first and then COVID hit. So the productions in Australia reduced significantly. Mm. So I came back to teaching to these beautiful kids, which I love and adore. And then Real World Pictures and Ultra Films took the screenplay and said, we'd like to make a movie. But how about we put a novel out first to reach more people yeah. and that will give impetus for people to do the movie. So that's where we are. Oh, Terrific. Fantastic. Hey, Donna, mm. we've heard, and I'm not sure yeah. if the kids can hear us because of the audio, but we've heard it might be a special day for you. So, at least here on the couch, and if not, if the kids can hear. Yeah, I'll, I reckon let's have a crack. All right, ready? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Donna. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. She sings as well. I mean, I, I do. Quite an organiser. I know, there's no stopping me. I, I keep telling them I'm 17, and that's really old to a preppy, so I'm 17 <laughs> today. I'm 17. Oh, Donna, the kids are so lucky to have you in their lives. You're an amazing woman. Congratulations again. Oh, and I'm lucky have... to have them. I'm Donna, lucky to have them. Donna, we wanted, Thank you. We tried to organise Jordan Ricky to come out of that uh, birthday cake as well. <laughs> It's a bit small. Yeah, it's a bit small. So it's next not, time, okay, we'll get Jordan to come Jordan out of that. Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next, well, is that a promise? That's a promise. Yes. That is a promise. It's your 18th Maybe. next okay. year, so that's more appropriate. That's right, it's special, yeah. 18, that's, that's a legal age, that's true, yes. So Jordan Ricky next year, my 18th oh, birthday oh, in a cake, I'm there. She's so cheeky, isn't she? I'm still inside coding out with Donna. Have a wonderful birthday, Donna. We love you. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> what a wonderful woman.